Jane joined WBAL TV in 1979. She was a general assignment reporter at the time. It was her third job in TV coming to us from WQED in Pittsburgh. Back in the 70s and 80s, WBAL TV was known as Action News. Hmm. The blue Action News t-shirt she's wearing here says, on a scale of one to 10, I'm an 11. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> Not wrong at all. <laughs> and later, there was Calamity Jane in the 90s. Jane was investigating consumer complaints, advocating for viewers as part of our 11 on your side unit. Some of you may have actually driven by one of these billboards back then. Our colleague, 11 News anchor Deborah Wiener, worked with Jane for 20 years. Deborah joins us now with a look at Jane's unprecedented career. Best billboard ever. <laughs> ever. For sure. <laughs> well, it's really hard to select the very best of Jane. Her body of work is just that good. But here is just a peek at the career that has even the most seasoned journalists impressed and at times intimidated. Investigative reporter Jane Miller knocks on a lot of doors and asks a lot of questions. Do you know where those checks are? Ms. Shattuck, may we speak to you? Do you intend to remain here? How hard is it to get here? Don't you regret at that time saying, yeah. boy, that looks bad. When we spoke with Judge Kennedy Boone back in March, we had to ask him an unusual question. First question is whether you've done the breathalyzer yet this morning. That question was part of a series of stories on judicial accountability. Jane won a Murrow Award for that. She has broken some incredible stories over her 46-year career, more than 40 here at WBAL-TV. What this investigation really hinges on is what happened inside that police van. Jane led the way locally and nationally on the investigation into the police custody death of Freddie Gray and never stopped seeking the truth. Her work won her a prestigious DuPont Columbia Award and while she appreciates the recognition, her friends and colleagues will tell you she's not in this for the accolades. These were Kirk Bloodsworth's last seconds behind bars. Early in her career at WBAL-TV, Jane exposed flaws in the prosecution of Kirk Bloodsworth, convicted of killing a nine-year-old girl. I've lost so much. He became the first death row inmate in the country, exonerated by DNA. Bloodsworth believes the questions Jane raised led to scrutiny of his case and his freedom. I got copies of checks. In 2003, Jane took on one of the country's largest mortgage servicing companies. Homeowners complained of excessive and unexplained fees and feared losing their homes. I would check on the internet, the foreclosure website, just to make sure my property address wasn't listed. Jane's reporting sparked a federal investigation. Homeowners finally got relief, and Jane was recognized by the National Association of Consumer Advocates. For the first time today, state officials publicly admitted. In 2020, Jane was first to raise questions about the state's $9 million purchase of coronavirus test kits from a South Korean company. The investigation of the false positive test just... She questioned the deal, the cost, and the efficacy of the tests. Eventually, the state admitted there were problems. The tests were swapped out. And then there was the peacock, one of Jane's more colorful stories. This is a pretty compact residential Harford name. Can Harford County's law says... I can put anything in my yard I want but a chicken. Some neighbors, as you might imagine, aren't too pleased, mostly because Petey is noisy. That's, I mean, that's really loud. It is, and it's only during the breeding season. That's one of the great things about Jane. No matter what the story, she's all in. The other problem here, try to cross the street. Twice, she's been named by Baltimore Magazine as one of the 50 most powerful people in the region. We could go on and on. Suffice it to say, we've merely scratched the surface of Jane's outstanding contributions to the industry and the community. We celebrate Jane tonight.
told you it's mm. really intimidating yeah. yes. <laughs> to look at all that. Oh my goodness. And we want to thank Augusta Brennan Jones sure. who worked with Jane for so many years on mm. so many stories and she went through and culled all that great mm. video and his great stories. A lot of years to cover. And yeah. all the photographers who worked with Jane to put these very important stories together. We thank them all. That's yep. right. And before she retired and earlier this year, Deb, you were there the night that Jane was honored oh, with a, a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Radio yes. Television Digital News Foundation. What an honor that yeah, was, absolutely. right? I think we all feel honored having been in Jane's presence yes. and absolutely. having worked with her 26 years for me out of her wow. uh, 47 yeah. year career. Yes. And like yeah. you said, I mean, it's not about the accolades. No, I'm just going to miss her voice in the news. Yes. yes. You know, just, I, I know we will still hear it. Yes, <laughs> we, we, will. we will still talk to her, but it's, it's she's just such a presence. Yes. Every day. Speaking Look, of that yeah. presence, when yeah. Jane would come out of the IT team office and come into the newsroom, it was an event, right? It was an event. And would drive our coverage, and we thank her for that. Yeah. And a mentor to all of us, even all of us. to some of us who have many years That's in the right. business. Yep. She guided us Without all. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Love you, Jane.